The list we are about to unveil is the 2023 update of the 10 fastest yachts on the water. Did you know that some of the fastest yachts in the world were launched 30 years ago? That's way older than some of you guys. How did these yachts remain at the top of the list in this fast advancing world? Well, let's discover everything about these thrilling vessels. Welcome back to Yacht News. First up on our list is number 10, Chateau. Built by Italian shipbuilder Baglietto, Chateau is an 85 feet long super yacht with a maximum speed of 57 knots, along with a cruising speed of 35 knots. The super yacht has a 105 gigatons capacity and an 18.7 feet beam. Although she was launched over 35 years ago, precisely in 1986, the yacht was refitted in 2007 to attain the modern and admirable look that you see today. The yacht's exterior was designed by Ing Scolati. She has a range of 450 nautical miles at cruising speed, and her top speed, which is 30.72 knots above normal, is due to her two MTU engines. Well, a yacht with a top speed of 57 knots is incredibly outrageous, but come and explore the next on our list, which is even more ridiculous. Number 9. Azimut Atlantic Challenger Have you ever heard of the Virgin Atlantic Challenge Trophy in the Blue Ryband? Well, this was the trophy awarded to the fastest yacht that crossed the Atlantic. Now, Azimut had just merged with Benetti, and the duo wanted to get the Blue Ryband acknowledgement by crossing the Atlantic without refueling. So, they built the Azimut Atlantic Challenger Super Yacht solely to win the Blue Ryband Award. Azimut Atlantic Challenger was constructed by Benetti and introduced in 1988 and included exterior design by Pininfarina. The 88 feet long yacht is powered by four CRM diesel engines with a combined 7,400 horsepower and can travel at a top speed of 60 knots. She has a range of 3,000 nautical miles at her cruising speed of 40 knots. Regrettably, she made an unsuccessful attempt to win the Blue Ryband soon after her 1988 debut. Just stick around, we will unveil who won the challenge. Number 8. Jet Rubin Blue France is not to be left behind. Jet Rubin Blue is an 82 feet long super yacht built by French shipbuilder Multiplast and delivered in 1990. She contested the challenge to break the transatlantic speed record. Soon after she failed, her design was remodeled in the creation of the luxury super yacht La Bella Helena in 1992. Jet Rubin Blue Super Yacht was designed by Giles Ollier in collaboration with Coste Designs and Partners. She is propelled by a single MTU 3500 horsepower engine and can achieve a maximum speed of 60 knots. Nonetheless, she has a cruising range of 3000 nautical miles at 50 knots. The vessel boasts of a planning GRP hull, superstructure, and decks. Before we continue with number 7, did you already like and subscribe to Yacht News so we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content? Don't forget to ring that ship notification bell so we know you're here. Number 7. Brave Challenger Mercury, as the yacht was previously called, is 103 feet long. Her three Rolls-Royce Kodak engines with combined output of 13,500 horsepower give her a maximum speed of 60 knots, a cruising speed of 44 knots, and a cruising range of 2,000 nautical miles at 10 knots. In addition, she's demonstrated that she can even reach higher speeds by utilizing her alternative high-speed Vosper-developed propellers. The yacht was built by the British shipyard Vosper Thornycraft and delivered in 1960. Even though she has undergone numerous refits, the yacht has lived for a cool 60 plus years and she still rocks. Let's continue with the next one on our list. Number 6. Carry On Despite her information being scanty, some crucial details about this yacht have been revealed. The 88.5 feet luxury yacht Carry On was delivered in 2004 by Italian shipbuilders AB Yachts. The streamlined profile of the Kirion, a gem of Italian engineering of performance, is comprised of carbon and Kevlar, enabling a lightweight and fast structure. In addition, Kirion is driven by triple 6300 horsepower CRM diesel engine, making her attain a top speed of 62.3 knots. With a 12,000 liter fuel capacity, she can cruise at a rapid speed of 50 knots for a maximum range of 900 nautical miles. Well, cruising with a super yacht at such speed is thrilling, but our next one is even more thrilling. Number 5. Gentry Eagle Named after her owner, Tom Gentry, this yacht is one of the few record-breaking sport yachts in the world. Just like the Brave Challenger, Gentry Eagle was built in the UK by the famous sport yacht builder Vosper Thornycraft and delivered to Tom in 1988. The 111.8 feet long super yacht was created with the Blue Ryband Challenge in mind. It can easily attain a top speed of 63.5 knots. The builder, exterior designers Peter Burkett and Grant Robinson, together with the interior designer Robin Rose, 
did an exceptional job because Tom won the Blue Ryband on board the super yacht in 1989. After accomplishing her mission, Gentry Eagle was refurbished as a luxury private yacht in 1992. At 63.5 knots, the yacht typically flies, but the next one can go beyond that speed. Number 4. Galeo Cerdo This 118 feet long ultralight carbon fiber yacht was created for Luca Bassani, the owner of the Italian shipbuilding company Wally Yachts. She was launched in 2003 after rigorous testing in Gothenburg, Sweden. Apart from her sleek design, People are attracted to Galeo Cerdo due to her ability to transform from a luxury super yacht to a speedboat in a matter of seconds with little noise or vibration. She can reach top speeds of 65 knots thanks to her three DDC TF50 gas turbines and two Cummins 370 horsepower engines. A common combination typically for smaller warships, but uncommon for super yachts. This brings us near the top of our list. Number three. Destriero. This 223.7 feet long super yacht is ridiculously fast. Built by Italian shipyard Ficantieri, followed by an epic design by Donald Blount and Pininfarina, Destriero was delivered in 1991. She is powered by a Kodak engine with three GE Aviation LM1600 gas turbines that sums up to 54,000 horsepower. She can therefore reach a top speed of 66 knots comfortably. Her development was funded by Aga Khan IV to set a new Ryban record. Another interesting fact is that she crossed the Atlantic in 1992 twice without refueling. Unfortunately, she was denied the Blue Ryban Award on claims that she was a private yacht. That said, she has won other equally top-ranking awards, including the Virgin Atlantic Challenge Trophy and the Columbus Atlantic Trophy. Destriero is a beast, the queen of the waters, and can only be defeated by the remaining yachts, at least for now. Number 2. Fawners. The 136 feet long Fawners, previously known as the Fortuna, has a top speed of 70 knots. Fawners, which boasts a vibrant and adventurous past, was constructed in 2000 by Spain's Astieros Bazan Yard as a present for then Spanish King Juan Carlos I. Since then, the royal family has relinquished the yacht in an act of austerity. When Fawners was delivered, she was the world's fastest super yacht before being dethroned. Her incredible speed is due to her three Rolls-Royce 6700 gas turbines and two 1,280 horsepower man engines driving three Kamiwa water jets. She has an 1,800 nautical mile range when traveling at 12 knots. And now, the fastest yacht of the world is number one, World Is Not Enough. At the top of our list is the World Is Not Enough. The world's fastest yacht can travel at a top speed of 70 knots. She was delivered in 2004 to her owner John Stolupi by the Millennium Super Yachts and has maintained its status as the fastest vessel in the world since then. Amazingly for a super yacht of the scale, World Is Not Enough is a 139 feet long, fully equipped super yacht with state-of-the-art audiovisual equipment and space for 10 guests in five opulent staterooms. The super yacht is powered by two Paxman diesel engines and two Lycoming gas turbines that give a staggering 20,600 horsepower. She also boasts a lucrative cruising range of 3,800 nautical miles at a comfortable speed of 10 knots. Well, that's it already for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can welcome you aboard for more spectacular yacht content. On your screen, select the video, Top 10 World's Most Futuristic Yacht Designs on the left. Subscribe to our channel in the middle, or watch one of our other videos on the right, and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.